Alrighty, this video is going to be fairly quick. I just want to move this left hand IK transform and how we set it over to C++. And obviously, as you can assume, that's going to be very easy to, to convert over. So what we're going to do is in the header, let's go to where we set everything else, where we have our other U functions. Right here, we're going to do void set left hand IK. Create the implementation. And let's create a F transform for it. So here we have site transform, for example. Let's go ahead and create a left hand transform. So inside of the set left hand IK, we're going to do this. So we get our gun, we get the first person mesh, we get the socket on the gun, we get our hand underscore R for kind of, uh, and we make that a relative transform, and that's all we do. So all we have to do is, actually, we are pretty much doing the exact same thing Kind of like this so we get our mesh transform so we can copy that we just got to make sure we get the socket like we do actually right here and set relative hand transform so there's our mesh transform there and now we want the f transform for the left hand ik socket so let's do gun socket or, yeah and set that equal to character Wait, no, it was, what was it to get it? So there's get current optic. We need to get the, oops, from the wrong file. What's it called? Uh, FP gun, and that is protected, so we need to make a public function to get it. So, what was it? It was use skeletal mesh component, get FP gun return a constant to the FP gun. All right. So we have get FP gun, in which case that's the skeletal mesh. So we want to get a socket transform. So get socket transform. And the socket name is something that I don't remember. S underscore left hand. Paste that into it, and we now have both sockets. And from there, we want to make a relative transform. So, all that's going to do is just be our left hand. So, left hand transform equals u kismet math library make relative transform. So, we want to make the gun socket relative to the mesh transform. And we can actually rename this one to the uh, yeah, gun socket transform and mesh socket. Just kind of make the naming a little bit cleaner because I didn't do the... Actually, yeah, I am kind of following that scheme up here. So once we have that, we are pretty much good to go. That should work in theory. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to disconnect that node so it doesn't run and delete the left hand IK. So delete it from there, delete it from there. I don't think you're actually in use, and save it. So I'm going to close down the editor, relaunch it. Okay, once everything's loaded back up, let's head back into the animation blueprint. And we should have the left hand transform right there. Plug it in, and let's see what happens. So we hit play, and currently... That is not working because I realized I never actually set it up to call it. So we have to call set left hand IK. So we're actually going to call that inside of native update animation. So let's call it, save it, control alt F11. And now that is working all the same as before. So that indicates that we can remove all of this and save it. So let's actually drag this on up a bit. So we are good to go. We have the left hand IK code moved to our C++ animation instance to kind of really clean that up. And obviously we don't have to clutter our blueprint one at all because everything we are doing is, well, obviously inside of C++. So we don't have to deal with any of the overhead as well from blueprint on top of that. That's going to be it for this video. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do in the next one, but we will figure it out. So 
I will see you then. If you have any uh, questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's linked down below, and I'll try to help you out there. As well as you can see my Patreon link if you want to help support me. We have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. So, I'll see you in the next video.